rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. So let's get right into it. Bill Maher decided to speak on the Jada Chris situation, or should I say poke fun at Jada's hair on his show. And let's just say that what he said is a hundred times worse than what Chris said, in my opinion. It really makes that G.I. Jane joke seem nice. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. <laughs> That was a nice one. Basically what he said is that alopecia isn't cancer. And if you are lucky in life to have that be your medical condition, just say thank you God. It's not life threatening you know. For most people it's part of aging. For 80% of men, 50% of women is part of aging. Which is the degradation of the flesh. I know it happens to all of us. If you are so lucky in life as to have that be your medical problem, just say thanks God. And then he said, and you know, just put on an effing wig like everybody else at the Oscars. Just put on a fucking wig like everybody else at the Oscars. If it bothers you so much. Wow. Now see, when he was making the point of it from a medical standpoint, it's true, yes, alopecia is very common, and yes, it will not kill you. And it's true, it's not cancer. Prayers to everybody battling cancer, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. It's definitely an incomparable disease, but to invalidate the sensitivity of people who do go through alopecia, that's not it. Aging is the degradation of the flesh. It happens to all of us. <laughs> and then to say put on an effing wig, especially when she's trying to embrace her natural beauty without following Hollywood standards, that's too far. And it's definitely disrespectful. Black woman and dealing with hair and Hollywood, it's really challenging. You give two craps what people feel about this bald head of mine. I love it. Now, little do you guys know, I hate reading with a passion, but I do go above and beyond for y'all. So let's take a look at some of the reactions. This person said, that slap was not about alopecia. It was about the buildup of disrespect over years. Here comes the man telling the woman how to feel and what to do. Not a black woman sitting with him and laughing about it. What an ignorant and insensitive statement to those who have alopecia and have to deal with the mental effects behind it. Stop making light of the condition because it's not cancer. And a black woman just sitting there smiling and laughing, Lord Jesus. This person wrote, if we take our emotion out of it, he's right. This guy wrote, he doesn't know how that's affecting her everyday life. She has to deal with media and people making fun of her about it. When in reality, as a woman, that can destroy her confidence. Hair for women in particular is very important to how they express their beauty and style. Okay. Smart man. Smart black man at that. This person wrote, Chris Rock has opened the gates for every white man to disrespect black women and it be okay. And if it's done in front of a black man, I want them all to respond like Will Smith. Mm. Under it, it says, that's the most ignorant thing to say. Alopecia is still a serious condition to have, whether it's cancer or not. The girl under it wrote, so damn much wrong with what he said, I can't even. Get me off this damn planet. Yeah, he made light of something that's serious as well. Like I said, cancer is incomparable, but for a woman to be balding when hair is everything in society, there's nothing light about that. And just an FYI, that comment was coming from a white woman. This person wrote, facts, ninjas go bald every day be basically agreeing with what Bill Maher said. This dude wrote, I usually like Bill Maher, but it is not his business to speak on how black women should present themselves. If he had daughters that had to wear Afro wigs to assimilate into a society that told them their natural hair isn't professional, I'm sure his reaction would be much different. Okay, black men come through with the thoughts. This dude wrote, everyone attacking Jada when all she did was show displeasure at a joke. Will made his own choice, yet it becomes her responsibility. These same people be talking about protect black women. Bill decided a black woman should not be sensitive about her hair, stays on his brand of passive aggressive racism pretending to be logic. Mm. This girl wrote, no disrespect to our culture. It's a fact that there are people who are really on stage three and stage four of cancer. Their family is constantly worried about the progressive of cancer. I mean, kids that are battling cancer every day. Every day. The person under her wrote, black women have been making fun of other black women's hair for decades, calling each other bald headed, nappy headed, no edges, the tiny ponytail, now the wigs. Chris Rock says a joke about beautiful Jada and everybody mad? Give it two weeks and it will be business as usual. This girl wrote, so y'all are going to allow Bill Maher to be reckless with his mouth and say nothing? Wake up. He is way out of line. He can talk about Will and Jada, but won't talk about what his race of people are doing to women and children in this entire country. Hmm. Okay, so on that note, I'm going to stop right there. But what are y'all thinking though? We really want to know what's on your mind on this topic. And just know that the Petty Blog comment section is a safe place. So leave your thoughts below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. PettyBlog.com signing out.